Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Matt and today we're going to be doing some yin yoga together. So today's class is a full body yin yoga class of about 30 minutes. All you're going to need is a yoga mat and a block. So let's dive right into it. So let's hop on the mat. So getting down, starting from your knees, we're going to go into melting heart, but we're just going to have the shoulders a little bit wider, wider here. So opening up your arms, bring your forehead to rest on the floor in front of you, curving your spine and keeping your knees aligned with your hips here. So this should feel really good. I'm going to invite you to just dive deeply inward, connect within your mind, recentering your breath within your heart and lungs and just enjoying how this feels. And we can walk our hands back, pushing ourselves back up here onto all fours. We're just going to work on our forearms and wrists a little bit. So we're going to turn our hands towards ourselves here, putting some pressure on them and then just leaning back, stretching your forearms, your wrist. You're going to see there's a lot of tightness in there, so it's not really easy to do, but it's really good. So just move your hips back as much as you can. And once it pulls too much, you can stop. Hold stillness here. We're not going to be holding this for three minutes. It's just to get a nice stretch in your wrist here. And we can release, turning our hands back in line. And from here, we're just going to place the left hand in front of us. Big inhale, raising the right arm up and back. Exhale, we're going to scoop it through, leaning down onto the right shoulder and trying to keep again our knees in line with our hips. Going into a gentle twist into the melting heart position here, or sometimes called puppy pose. So you guys can reconnect with your breath here and just relax.
And we can release the twist, placing our hands in front of us. You can move your hips back, stretching the shoulders here a little bit. And then coming back onto all fours with the right hand in front here, knees in line with the hips. Big inhale, raising the left arm up and back. Exhale, we're gonna scoop it around, lowering ourselves down onto the left shoulder this time. Enjoying this beautiful twist. And we can slowly push ourselves, releasing the left hand, our left arm, coming back onto all fours. And from here, we're just gonna walk our hands, shooting ourselves forward, coming down onto our bellies, placing our elbows in line with our shoulders, with the hands on the floor, looking up, curving the spine, getting in, into sphinx pose. So that's very good for low back. So you can close your eyes here and enjoy this position. As you use your breath to soften up the tension in the lower part of your spine.
And from here we can flare our elbows out, placing your hands one on top of the other. And just bring your forehead to rest on top of your hands, lowering yourself down, releasing tension in your low back and just enjoying the reset here. And we can place our hands in line with our shoulders here. We're gonna push ourselves up and back, bringing our knees to the edges of our yoga mat, touching our big toes together, bringing our glutes in contact with our heels if we can. And then we're just gonna walk our hands forward, bring our forehead to the ground for a wide knee child's pose.
And we can push ourselves back forward, bringing our knees in line with our hips here, going onto all fours. So we're gonna be going into dragon pose from here. So we can take one big inhale, raising the left leg up and back. Exhale, we're gonna swing it forward, going into a deep lunge here. We can place our hands on the floor inside of our left hip. And then you can look up, trying to keep your spine as neutral as possible. Feeling the deep stretch in your hips and hip flexors here. This one is very beneficial for all the tightness that we have in our short hip flexors from sitting down too much, spending too much time at a computer during the day and just not being mobile like we used to be. And we can move our hips back, walking our hands backwards, just going into a counter stretch like we always do. Stretching the left hamstring here very gently. And we can come back into all fours. So now from here, we're gonna do the other side as suspected. So big inhale, raising the right leg up and back. Exhale, swinging it forward, bringing our hands inside, moving our hips forward and down, and just enjoying this deep stretch once more, releasing the tightness in our hips.
and we can release the posture moving our hips back going into a counter stretch here gentle right hamstring hamstring sorry stretch and from here we can kind of roll down on the right and bringing the left leg around and in front of us so we're going to be going into butterfly position from here so the sole of your feet can come together in front of you bringing your feet closer to your groin allowing your knees to drop down on both sides we're going to place our hands on the floor big inhale this is where we can use the block if you want on top of our feet or in front of us for support for our forehead so big inhale here exhale luring yourselves forward bending at the waist kind of place the block on top of my feet and use it for support here for my forehead so let's reconnect and recenter ourselves internally with our being. And we can release the position coming all the way back up, closing our knees. We're going to be extending our legs in front of us, lowering ourselves down onto our backs. And we're going to be diving into Savasana. So try to release all type of control over your muscles here, lying down completely still, reconnecting with your breath. Really slowing down your breath with long inhales through the nose and long exhales through the nose.
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's class with me. This is a great full body yin yoga experience that we got to do together. I want to thank you for following my channel, subscribing to it, sharing it with friends, family members. And if you like what I do, check out my website, yinyogawithmat.com. I have a membership section, $20 a month. You get access to longer, better classes. And it's quite cheap compared to a regular yoga studio. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good day.